Joining me today is John Folger, General Canadian Sales Manager for Crown Verde Barbecues. There's a guy who knows a thing or two about a barbecue. Thank you very much. How are you, John? Good, how are you? Good, good. Okay. Okay, how many of these you got at home? Just one. Just one, okay. Honest, honest. <laughs> Just one. Great. So you're doing a bit of an appetizer for us. Appetizer tonight. today that I do at home in the backyard when I'm entertaining friends and family. And it's an easy appetizer, although it's a bit of pre-work. A little time consuming. Yes. But Why then don't you show me how to do it? Okay. So what we're going to do, we're doing bacon okay, uh, wrap this. dates. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, we've got most of them done up here and we're going to do wrap the last a few. Wrap with bacon probably. That's right. So what I've done Can't is I've uh, marinated the dates in uh, orange juice for about four to six hours. And okay. You don't want to do anything longer than six hours and then they turn to mush. Okay, makes so sense. Then, and then I have some blue cheese. Okay. And then I put I like a chunk of that on top as well. And then you just get underneath oh. them here and roll them. Very nice. That'll give it a nice salty. I've, off, I've even seen this one with uh, prosciutto for a little more salt. Right. Italian bacon in exactly. it. That would be nice. And too. you can do different cheeses as sure. well in there. You want a little I need this toothpicks. Oh. <laughs> Handy? Yes. I like that when they come off open like that. Thank you, Mary. Like that. Now you should always bunch. soak these toothpicks before That's you cook anything on these. Good work, John. You're right. Okay, so we so got there's that, that one there. Done. See, I did all those, and John's just doing these for right. Thank I'm you. I'm a little faster yeah. with my fingers. <laughs> I'm not as nervous with my fingers yeah. as John. So John, you can cook. You won't want a lot of heat on your Crown Verde for this. No, but the, ni the nice thing is you can do these two ways. You can do them indirect. Okay. It's nice when you're entertaining, so you can still uh, sit down and have your and cocktails you're, with your friends. You're and you're going on this grill. We're going to go on that grill. Should we? This is a brand new one, John. Why don't we show people what you would do with a brand, brand new, new one? grill before sure. they use it? Okay. I think we got enough of them. What we'll do? I'm full. Good. Okay, so if you could put that on the grill there for All right. Me. We don't want slop. You want it everywhere. on high, John, or on? Let's do medium, Murray. Okay. So what we're going to do, just quickly, and any any new little barbecue tip here, any new, uh, whether it's the grates or yeah. a griddle plate, it's always good to start it off by just putting some olive oil or vegetable yeah. oil on there. Just helps season it and then stops the first time you use it from any of the food products from sticking. That's right. And it, if you put that on there right now without seasoning it, We'd have never gotten those off the plate, would oh, we? Oh, no. Never. No, you, cool. it would be a mess. Should we put these on now, John? Let's put them on now. All right. Tongs, or we, and well, you we say don't say either indirect or direct. Because we got toothpicks, we probably can be quicker. We can actually just would. put them on. Great. You do half, and I'll do half. See who's faster. Okay, it's a race to the finish. Yeah. Time is money here. So, what do you figure each one of these costs you, Johnny? Are these a, a, an inexpensive appetizer people can do? Yes, I'm going to say this is a pound of bacon, box of dates. Cool. Um, we're looking in the, really, about uh, $10. Perfect. It's very you inexpensive. And can you uh, cook them and let them sit and eat them, or are they better to eat hot? Better to eat hot, because okay. then you got the cheese. I mean, And the bacon, and yeah. But having said that, there's nothing wrong with eating them cold either. No. Or you could eat them cold. It's a tie. That's right. We are. <laughs> All right. And you know me, I always like to tie one on. So we'll close that up. Close the lid on that. Okay. Get and that we'll just give them a few minutes until the bacon gets uh, crispy or to how you like it. That's perfect. Great. Oh, nice. Look at this, John. Perfect. Now, there's two ways you can cook this, correct, John? I could have done yes. this. Yes. We can do the way we're doing, which is direct over the yeah. heat, but you have to flip them. Yeah. But for home entertaining, uh, what I like to do is do indirect. What you've done is turn it over to the one side where there's no heat yeah. under that, and then you can just leave it until the bacon gets crispy on its own, which that's takes right. a little longer, but for home entertaining, that's a good thing. And then you won't get the flare up. You can sit down, you can close the lid. You can relax, you and then, and then you just periodically check it. Obviously, bacon on a grill, you're gonna get a little flare up. Yes. These look good though, John. They're I think getting, they're, they're ready, getting, what do you they're getting think? There. You think these need a little more? Just a little bit more. Okay. I know some people like their bacon a little more crispy than other people. Exactly. We've had some requests in our day. Oh, look at those. Set that up a bit. The guys in the back are nice. Oh, my giving you a hard time now. It that is one. that one. My stick got me that time, John. <laughs> there we go. You know, you couldn't do this on another barbecue because you get so much flare up on other yeah, barbecues. Yeah, and this grill plate hurt. is ideal. This griddle plate Perfect. you can use for vegetables, fish, yep. any appetizers that we're doing here today. Oh, looks great. Oh, look at that. Look, and they were sitting 
on uh, the aroma is good too. Listen, it is. Oh, smell that. Smells like blue cheese. Yes. Perfect. Mm, perfect. Great. Ouch. All right, Johnny, I'll okay. let you plate these up. Perfect. They look good, John. See how the I'm cheese is melted out of them a these. bit? Oh, they're nice. And you've got some that are a little more well done than others. Which is good for other people's yeah. taste. Some people like really crispy bacon, some yeah. like not so crispy. So it, it it's great. And you got a lot of the fat out of the bacon. Exactly. That's the idea. So now it's diet bacon. Diet bacon. The way I like it, yeah. But the flavors are still there. Oh boy. Great. Okay. Tastes good, let's try one now. Okay. And remember, John, to eat, mm. drink, and be merry. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.